sacred narrative of the Annunciation, a momentous event found in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. Before we delve into this passage, let's set the stage. Background Luke's Gospel, known for its meticulous detail and emphasis on mercy and compassion, opens with the account of the birth of John the Baptist and the miraculous conception of Jesus. In our passage, we witness the angel Gabriel's visitation to Mary, announcing the divine plan for her to conceive the Savior through the Holy Spirit. Now, let's explore this sacred encounter with five key points on the Annunciation. Point 1. A Divine Encounter in Nazareth the narrative unfolds in the humble town of Nazareth, where the angel Gabriel appears to Mary. This choice of location reflects God's inclination to manifest his extraordinary plans in ordinary places. It teaches us that God can visit us unexpectedly, even in the most unassuming moments of our lives. Comparative reference, Matthew chapter 13 verse 55, Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? Point 2. Mary's response of faith, let it be done. When presented with the astonishing message of conceiving the Son of God, Mary responds with a faith-filled surrender, saying, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. Mary's fiat, her, yes, to God's plan, becomes a model of profound trust and obedience. Comparative reference, Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8, And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am. Send me. Point 3. The Power of the Holy Spirit in the Incarnation Gabriel assures Mary that the Holy Spirit will come upon her, and the power of the Most High will overshadow her. This emphasizes the Trinitarian nature of the Incarnation, God the Father's plan, the Holy Spirit's active role, and the Son taking on human form. Comparative Reference Genesis Chapter 1 Verse 2 the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Point 4. Mary's Role in Salvation History Mary's, yes, at the Annunciation marks the beginning of a new chapter in salvation history. She becomes the vessel through which God enters human history. This pivotal moment links to the promises of old, as seen in today's other readings from Genesis and Isaiah, highlighting the continuity of God's redemptive plan. Comparative Reference Micah chapter 5 verse 2, But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel. Point 5. Mary, Mother of the Church, in Revelation. As we explore the book of Revelation in today's readings, we see the imagery of the woman clothed with the sun. Tradition interprets this woman as Mary, the Mother of the Church. The Annunciation, therefore, is not merely a private moment but a cosmic event with implications for the entire people of God. Comparative Reference Revelation chapter 12 verse 5 She gave birth to a male child, one who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron, but her child was caught up to God and to his throne. Quotes from Church Fathers, Saints, and Pope Francis, Street. Ambrose of Milan beautifully remarked, Mary's virginity and giving birth, and even the Lord's death escaped the notice of the prince of this world. These three mysteries worthy of proclamation were accomplished in God's silence. Pope Francis often emphasizes Mary's role as a model of humility and trust, encouraging us to follow her example. Connecting to Indian, Kerala context and current affairs, in the rich cultural and religious diversity of India, where the Divine Feminine is venerated, Mary's role as the Mother of Jesus holds special significance. In Kerala, where devotion to Mary is deeply ingrained, the Annunciation becomes a celebration of faith and surrender. In the current affairs of our nation, where societal expectations often place burdens on individuals, Mary's fiat becomes a powerful example. In a world that sometimes values grand gestures over quiet obedience, Mary's response to God's plan speaks to the strength found in humble surrender. As we reflect on the Annunciation, may Mary's fiat inspire us to say, yes, to God's plans in our lives. In a world filled with noise and distractions, may we find moments of quiet surrender, trusting that God's extraordinary plans can unfold in the most ordinary corners of our lives. Amen.